family, family, family. And yes, another beautiful day. Just came from doing my gym workout. And just taking a cool walk around the park. Enjoying this wonderful spring weather. But so let me jump right into this one here. Over the weekend here for this so-called pre-Halloween, they had about what? Six or seven different shootings in different states. You had Chicago, you had Florida, you had Ohio, you had Texas. I mean, you had about six different killings and shootings. Folks, things are getting scary. Not for me. But things are getting very, very scary. People are just going berserk for no apparent reason whatsoever. Is it because of the energy that's coming through from the sun? Let me take a break on the fear of the sun. Is it because of the energy that is coming in from the sun that is driving people berserk? I don't know what it is, folks. All I can tell people, I keep saying, protect yourself and your family. I like this, I think uh, all respects to my island people. This Jamaican guy in Florida, this guy bonks upon him and pulls a gun. The Jamaican guy shot him and killed him, he said. And the Jamaican guy says, I'll do it again. Because it's either him or me and I'll do it again. So I'm telling people. People say they're not like carrying guns and they're not like violence, but you have to protect yourself against people that don't think like you. It's that simple. See, because everyone out there is not spiritual or not loving and kind and giving. They just want to rob you for no apparent reason. So you got to protect yourself for those kind of people. It's not being violent, but you're being protective of you and your family. For me, I'm always backing. Because it ain't going to be me, it's going to be you. So when it bones up on me, I'm going to step away from it. I'm going to like, hey, bruh, you don't need to do this, bruh. You, you don't need none of this up in here. You better rethink before you cry. If you bone me the certain way, I, no, I ain't backing down. I'm not a big guy, but I'm fearless, brother. You know what I'm saying? Because me, for all the stuff you know that we don't die, nah. Nah. So I'm, I'm telling people, protect you and your family. You're going to come down to that. Apart from stocking up on your food stuff, and getting your solar power generator and your small portable heaters and your torch lights and all such that you need. As a matter of fact, I don't know how true this is, but this guy was saying, um, I forget the name of the guy. I watched him last night. He's always on YouTube. A guy with dreads. He talks in the dark. Very knowledgeable guy. He was saying from the 27th of October until the 27th of November, it's a small pull shift. We don't know. He says everything gonna happen for a whole month straight. Just at the full moon. You're getting two full moons in the year or three full moons in the year. Things are changing, man. Things are changing. Things are things are changing. For the betterment for us, because after four hundred and fifty years of slavery and the shit still didn't want to come to an end, but it's coming slowly. Things gotta change, man. And they keep saying over and over again, it makes some anonymous, but they keep saying over and over again, there's too much money in this world for you to have homeless people, especially veterans. This part of fucking on like wars because wars is only for those so called high polluting people and sending people to get killed for no reason to protect them so they can live comfortable. Not the people that fight in the wars because they don't come back. A lot of them get killed on the field. But those that come back home, homeless, I have to go in the food banks to get food, or then to get food, you in the fight of war for a country that don't give a shit about you? No. I don't believe in no wars whatsoever. I believe in protecting yourself and your family. But um, like I said, there's too much money in this, on this earth for people to be homeless and just going hungry, even the kids, young kids. That's why people don't so much stupidness, man, because they can't get no food. And then the job you get, you pay minimum wage, the rent is two ton the rent is two thousand dollars a month. You're making four fifty an hour. Some people in restaurants depends on their tips because they don't get a good salary. We get like a a dollar and fifty cents an hour. So it depends on the tips to make the ends meet. And the rent is so expensive, the food keeps going up. That's why people are going crazy. That's why people are going committing suicide, you know. 
killing their kids and the whole family because they ain't scared me, man. And it's, it's, it's going to get better, but I mean, it's going to get, it have to get better because everything for a time. Nothing remains, the only thing remains the same is change. On the day, folks, I'm not going to elaborate on this. I don't know, folks. I guess pray every day, man, that we bring back peace on earth and live in financial freedom and knowledge, wisdom, understanding, clarity, peace of mind, and gratitude, 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 gratitude for everything you have. Just be grateful for whatever you have. And people are seeing the little bit that they have. The little bit that you have is a lot to a homeless person. Just show gratitude, man. Just be grateful for whatever you have. On to them, folks. I love you guys, man. Yes. Be loving and kind and giving and caring. The more you give, the more you receive. I'm out here, folks. I love you guys. Peace out. One love.